500 feet. So, we're going to go 18 or 17 inches of manifold pressure. Let's go ahead and put that carburetor heat back on. Eyes are out, the green. Okay. Turn the green. Yep, hold our uh, attitude. Don't put the nose down. So if we were doing 80 knots or something, let's bring that nose back to about 80 knots. Keep us in trim with the pedals. Down we go. Purpose of a descent is to change altitudes while maintaining heading and uh, airspeed. Okay. 50 feet prior to desired altitude. Level out to cruise power, which is 20 inches. Under one five six, cut one two three or four, clear to land. Cut three, please, clear to land. One, up to one five six. Okay. Much better. You're good. And you had to say clear to land because that's a clearance. Okay, so we're approaching the airport. So now we want to do our pre-landing checks. All our gauges are green. Our warning lights are out. Our trim needs to come off. Okay, our carburetor heat needs to come on full, which it's already there. And you need to start to descend down to 300 feet. 300 feet, 60 knots. Good. And Pat 3 is the uh, longer one down here. All right, so there's our 60 knots. We don't want to get any slower than that. We hold our altitude, keep ourselves in trim. And just prior to a normal sight picture, we're going to slow down to a brisk walk, which is a semi-quick stop, not quite a quick stop. So let's go ahead and slow down to a brisk walk. App cyclic, lower and collective, set your sight picture. Now your sight picture is pretty good between the trim strings and the console, so let's go ahead and maintain that sight picture down to pad 3. So rate of closure with the cyclic, angle of closure with the collective. Don't get any slower on me. is pretty good. Ankle closure is looking pretty good. Keep going all the way to the three, sir. Now you're going to start to lose ETL, so maintain your forward momentum. Be ready on that left pedal. down, please. Okie dokie. So those are the types of principles on an approach that we need to get done, and so far we're doing pretty good. So I'm talking you through most of them today, and then the next time we do it, then you're going to do a lot more on your own. Okay, let's go. Up we go. And the first pedal turn we're going to do is we're going to do a left pedal turn today. So pick me up, maintain that no movement, no rear, rearward or lateral movement on the ground. Keep me pointed in this direction with those pedals. Center of the box. I don't want to go 
up about another foot, please. Now, I don't want movements like this on the cycling, okay? I don't want to see that, okay? I want to see very small movements like that, which is like practically nothing. See how small the movements we're making on that cyclic now? Small inputs. Let me get my grip right. I move it up a bit like that. Better. Right, so no abrupt movements on that cyclic. So back me up a little bit more. Sorry? Back me up a little bit more, put me in the center of the box where the three is. Okay, a little bit higher. I want to be two to three feet off the ground. A little more. A little more. Alright, let's do a left pedal turn. Nice and gentle. Keep me right over the three if you can. Now, where's the wind coming from, Justin? 200. Where? 200. Two zero zero two zero. Is that what you heard on the ATIS? Oh, that's what I heard, yeah. Right to the east. Southwest. Zero point five. All ground traffic is one tree three point zero. All no, it's departing no, it's right aircraft requested to contact clearance delivery prior to taxi on one one eight point one five with position. Go ahead, set me down. The distillery runway one six left closed between Kilo and Golf. Runway one six right closed. Runway two five right closed. Advise on initial contact information. Bravo. Columbia Airport information. Bravo. Two one five three Zulu. Wind three zero zero one four. Three zero zero, zero sir. Clear. Off by 100 degrees. And even if you didn't listen to it on the ATIS. I'm looking at the windsock over there. I can see it straight down the nose. Yeah, you look at the windsock. But now, if I wouldn't have asked you where the wind was coming from, did you know where the wind was coming from? No. You should have been picking up the windsock on the way in to verify what you heard on the ATIS was accurate. Because it's more important based on the wind what you see on the approach versus what you hear on the ATIS. And since you even didn't hear it correctly on the ATIS, it would be better to verify it in person. Okay, go ahead and set me down when you have a chance. Justin, look at that grip. We're trying that to get is, the center of the three. That, that, is, that is the most deadly, deadliest grip I have seen in a long time. You're going to kill the cyclic. You have to be gentle on it, otherwise you're moving your whole arm, and that's why those movements are so erratic. It has to be gentle. It has to be a fingertip touch. Okay? Gripping it with your whole hand will not work. It makes it too erratic. You oh, have like to be this. like this. That's with fingers. Two or three fingers. And you only move it with your fingers. You don't move it with your whole arm. Okay? Just use your fingers. Okay. Go ahead and pick me up again. Where's the other windsock, by the way, so I know? Uh, right back on your right-hand shoulder. Okay. Go ahead and pick me up, please. No movements. I want to go up slow. better. Much better. Let's do a right pedal turn this time. So with those pedals. that again. So you're moving the uh, 
uh, cyclic with your whole hand. Let's try it once together here. Okay? Let's make a right pedal turn. Here we go. Nice and slow. Hold that cyclic nice and gentle. Let's see what happens here. I want to see how much you actually have to move it. Now, who moved the cyclic more? You or me? Me. But you are moving, nevertheless. I mean, uh... I have to move it to control the aircraft. I don't but, I, but I don't want to be doing that. And that's what you're doing. What's the difference between that and moving it? I don't know what you mean. Jerking. You're jerking it. You're jerking it. Okay? And if you do that, okay, that's too much of a movement. That's too much. And that way it's hard to, for the aircraft to be controlled. That's why you use your fingertips. So it's difficult to make that large of a movement. Now, just like right now, see how little I'm moving the cyclic to maintain the position over the ground? Very little, okay? You hold me here. You have controls. I have controls. Yeah, let's do a right pedal turn. There you go. Nice and steady. Don't be jerking it. Much better. Much better. Because the more you move it that way, the more you're going to have to move it back this way, or vice versa. So whatever large input you have, you're going to have to fix it. If you keep it as still as possible over the position, it minimizes your movements. Okay, go ahead and sit me down one more time, and we'll do a pattern.
when you look out, you should have your distance reference point in which to fly towards. Come on, keep me in trim. Keep that right pedal in trim. 500 feet, please, sir. Okay, so we uh, beam our spot, gauges of green lights are out, trims off, carburetor heat is already on, above 30, down we go to 300 feet, 60 knots. Again. Long Beach Tower Helicopter 539 Hotel uh, is at air flight for West Ward Low, Bravo. No, greater, no less than 15 inches, sir. No slower than 60 knots. Run, I don't want to go that slow. 59, Carson. Landing at the ramp will be at your own risk. Traffic just east of the terminal on base for the pets. Here's Sierra Hotel out of Air Flight. That's called flight departure from Air Flight. Will be at your own risk. Westward approved. Wind 280812, gusts 18, altimeter 2993. Roger, that was 539er Hotel for uh, at departing Air Flight. 539er Hotel, Roger. You're good. Slow down to brisk walk. Side. Is this what? Normal to you? Um, it feels a hair slow to me. The normal, normal as opposed to shallow or steep. Oh yeah, it's a normal approach. Yep, a angle looks good. I have no problem. Right between the trim strings and the console. Just maintain the sight picture. Go. Right, 
Descend to 300 feet, 60 knots. Now go, keep on going this way. Because I don't necessarily like to overfly Wind them that much. Now we try and point. avoid the golf course as much as possible. The Number principal six, power, Julie, 60 knots. We can still avoid the golf course. Follow the road. Can you approve the now, feel how I pulled here. power around that turn yeah, to maintain that airspeed. Yeah. Okay. Now there's our 300 feet. We're still good. We're still good for 60 knots. We're just a little bit fast, but you know there it comes back because we're getting into the wind. And now we never just never went below 60 knots. Okay. Now if we're a hair fast, we can slow down. And now we're going to slow down to a brisk walk. Half cyclic, lower collective, and there it comes. That's what I want. Now just wait till you get the sight picture and your altitude. Hold your altitude. Don't sink till you get your sight picture. Then you can start to sink and start your approach. Hold it still. Hold that cyclic still. You tell me when it's normal because I'm still... Now, go for it. Now, go for it. Little right pedal, though. Little it's right pedal. It's, a, it's above the trim strings of me. Little right pedal. There you go. Now the trim strings are, are where they're supposed to be. So what if you're crooked? But see how we're not even moving the cyclic? Everything is looking good. All you got to do is work that collector for me. Uh, moving so forward we'll now. This is where we got a hair slow last time. Okay. Keep that. There you go. Watch that angle. Now, have you ever moved the cyclic yet? No. Give me a little collective. A little more. There you go. A little more. Move forward. Move forward. That get a little shallow towards the end, then. And hold your position over the ground. Now, did you ever move the cyclic on that approach? No. You just held it nice and still, and you maintain your rate of closure. Are you moving the cyclic now? No. You're holding your position over the ground, maintaining your position with those pedals. Okay? That's what I want to get you to. And don't worry about the fact that I don't think you got any, any worse shallow on that approach. I think that approach was just fine. Okay? If you do every approach like that, you're fine. I'm going to release my pressure. Okay? So that's what I want to see you do, rather than moving that cyclic and jiggling it all the way in. Set your rate of closure, re work your angle with the collective. Okay? Let's do a pedal turn. Left or right, sir? Your choice. <coughs> right.
you're still thinking two larger inputs on that side click to get it to do what you want it to do. You don't have to make that much. Just a minute you go like this, you bring it back that much. Okay? Is this like, I, I, was, I don't know how else to uh, respond to the fact that the wind's blowing me down. Okay, let's do it again together. Okay, right pedal turn. You do it with the pedals. Okay, hold that side click nice and still. Okay, you do the pedals. Bring me up, 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 up. There you go, right pedal turn. Right pedal turn. Slow. Would be easier for the cyclic, but we're still not jerking it. See how much, see how less the movement we had on that cyclic? Probably more about the fact we And you're still trying to move it. There's no need to move it. Hold it still. Now, I'm going to do the pedals this time. We're going to go around together. Okay? Nice and gentle. Small. Just move it in the direction it needs to go, but just not as fast. Is that what you mean? Yeah, we're making it do what we want it to do, but we're not doing this. You do this constantly. And the minute you do that, you come back. The minute you do that, you do this. Okay? And all you have to do is hold it still, and you get the same effect. All right, you have controls. I got them. Now, watch how much you move that cyclic on your turn. Let's go. Up we go just a little bit. Right pedal turn. Another pattern. And you gotta aim for that gray door. Okay, now I don't want to be over the bowing sign. Okay? Up we go. to get the cyclic centered based on what you were doing with the collective. Go ahead and set me down again. Ah, uh, don't trip. on me at the end. So, you tell yourself that as soon as I get it light on the skids, I have to neutralize the cyclic, okay? I'm not allowed to lower the collective. So that's your whole goal in life right there. So, you bring it up, you get it light, you neutralize the cyclic, and you continue to pull it up. You don't get to lower the collective, okay? Because then you got to start all over again. So, here we go, okay? We're nice I and... I guess I have a trouble figuring out sensing the center point. I mean, sometimes it takes three times to find that center point. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, there's the cyclic, okay? Let's put it there. It's way out of whack, okay? Okay. So, now, we're going to pull up light on the collective and see what's going on, okay? We're going to pull up on the collective. Okay, we get it light. Let's see what it's going to do. Okay, put a little bit of right pedal in. I still didn't lower it. I brought the cyclic back just a hair. 
Now I continue to pull. Continue to pull. Gentle. Gentle. And up I go. Now, did I ever lower the collective? No. No. What did I do? I played with the cyclic as I slowly raised the collective to center my position. Okay. I guess, I guess it's a habit of not trying to avoid dynamic rollover for lowering the collective immediately. You're not going to. You're not going to get into dynamic rollover. You're going to center the collective. Okay. And lowering the collective is a, just an excuse for not having the cyclic in the correct position. Right. Okay, so now, if we go to the ground, we keep it nice and gentle, we hold it still, hold it still, same thing, center the cyclic, center the pedal, lower it, lower it, down we go, nice and stop, and then we go down. It's the same thing. The whole thing you're doing the whole time is keeping this cyclic centered so you don't drift. Now, we didn't drift right. We didn't go backwards. That's all good. Now, when we pick it up again, we think we're about in the neutral position. So, we're going to lift it up light. Nice and light. Now, it all has to happen slow. You can't get aggressive on pulling up on that collective. Okay. Now, you're nice and light. See what it's going to do. Okay. Not much. Not much. It's going to come right back up where it was. You feel how slow we picked it up? And we adjusted with the cyclic. You have controls. Now, was I fidgeting with the cyclic? No. You have controls. I love it. Okay, go ahead and set me down again. Now, the whole key in this is to keep it going straight to the ground. <coughs> I never stop it. <coughs> You can stop the collective, but you cannot lift it back up. That's the rule. Okay. What about the ground effect there if it starts making it go all squirrely? What makes it go squirrely? What about if the ground effect makes it all squirrely and you want to, you want to like, keep on going then down? Then you hold the cyclic nice and still at the level you're at. But if it's continuing to descend, you don't have to hit the ground like that. You're going to hold the cyclic at the position you're at while you control your descent. And then it's going to go down. What I don't want you to do is, I don't want you to go to down and back up. I don't want you to go down and back up. I want you to go down, stabilize, and then keep going down. That's the goal. All right. Okay? And that means slow. Okay? Up we go. Now, position yourself based on adjusting that cyclic for picking it up. Wherever it needs to be, it needs to move there. And you have to go slow on the collective to make it do what you want it to do. Now, see how you're sliding? Fix it. Good. And you did lower the collective. You just stopped pulling up on it. Okay. Keep going up now. Nice and slow. See what it's going to do. It's moving. Fix it. Yeah. There you go. Now up you go. Look at that. Now, did you ever go go boom? No. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Now bring me up. Bring me up. I want to get up to two or three feet. Okay. Now, let's do the same thing going to the ground. Nice and slow on that collective. The collective is the key on that. Now, down we go. Nice and slow. Slow, slow, stable. Almost. We can still go down slower and be more stable. Okay? All right. Up we go again. Now, I'm going to get that a little bit out of whack so you have to fix it. Okay. Look out. Don't look down. Good. It's moving. It's moving. Ah, see, why'd you lower it? Yes, habit. What'd you lower it for? Yeah, habit. Okay. So if you would pull it up slower, you have time to fix it. Okay, so pull it up slower and fix that motion. Up you go. Slow. Neutralize it. There you go. And up you go. Voila. That's all in that, how fast you raise that collective. What happened before? You brought the collective up too fast, started moving, what'd you do? Oh, I dumped the collective. I'll start all over. Good, good. Right pedal turn, sir. Very 
nice, very nice. Okay, Phil gonna, small, small, ah, small. Look at that. Tap it right where it needed to be. Small inputs. Power hit control, 156, three left coast traffic. 156, hold for traffic. Holding 156. Hi. Got time to set it down again. Nice and slow. Or touch it. Touch down? Yep, please. Stable. Don't slide. Much better. Yeah, you started doing like this, you brought it back, and then you kept going down. You did not pick me back up. That all worked. Okay, up we go. Nice. Up we go. Now you're sliding. You're sliding. Don't jerk it. Yeah, you still could have picked yourself up a little bit slower and not yeah. done what you did, but not bad. We're on the right track. At least we didn't dump the collective. Let us go here. All right, I have controls. You have go control. Yeah, just go ahead and take a break. Traffic landing. Yep, yep, yep. look like this and we go three two one and roll ah, that was terrible revived it I started rolling too fast before I got right pedal but we landed nice and gentle and straight he's almost on the ground Ah, uh, why 
set attitude. I don't want to be about 500 feet, sir. Why are we pulling back so much on the cyclic? I just no climbed, idea what happened then. I have, we just climbed 100 feet and we went 50 knots. Yeah. They'll fix it. They want us at 500 feet. Push the nose down. Just push the nose down, leave the cyclic collective where it is. There you go. Keep me right pedal in there. Good, good. All right, last uh, pattern. Trims off, carburetor heat's coming on. Now, 300 feet, 60 knots. All the way around the corner. Do not go less than 60 knots on me, sir. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now turn. I'm in a nosedive, sir. And I'm gonna go below 300 feet. And I still haven't even pulled power. Gentle, gentle, left pedal, left pedal. Justin, that's not coordinated. No. Not even close. Because last time as I went around the corner, I told you just exactly what I was doing, and it all worked fairly well, but we didn't do the same thing. Okay, go ahead and slow down to a brisk walk. So you have to, when you do that whole thing, you got to be looking out. Did you, were you looking at the gauges at all? Maybe too much. Probably. Well, how come? You can't fly the aircraft by looking at the gauges. again. You're using that safety blanket that you think you have. Yeah. I gotta break you with some old habits, sir. Yeah. Either, 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 either old or they're bad, but they're, they're both. Okay. Let's do, I, we got to do that pattern one more time. I do not like that approach on the other end. Okay. You're just not consistent at it. So go ahead and pick me up, make a pedal turn, and let's go. I will call for clearance. Ah, 
See how fast I'm still going? I want to climb 60 knots till I get to 500 feet, sir. I want to get up in altitude. Now, move it forward. Move forward. Don't do the same thing you did before. Don't pull back on that cycling. You move forward. What's it going to do? It's going to stop that ascent, and it's going to give you some airspeed, and it's going to maintain your altitude. Okay, see how we stayed at 500 feet? Okay, dokie. Okay, that's one down.
on that collective, I want you to get used to putting your hand almost all the way to the end on the phone. Okay? Star, go okay? three, seven, if you put it there, three, I'm sorry, you, I couldn't hear you. I, I want your you want your hand at the end of the collective. You want it that end? Yep, I want it down there. Why was that? Okay. Yeah, I want it there because that much movement. Like a, three seven, let me hold for at least expect two minutes. It's like moving it that much where your hand was. I was okay. trying to have partly on the metal so you not don't you know over grip the uh, gut. You know, nah, kill no, the just, just keep it on the foam. Just keep it on the foam. Good. 